Welcome to part two where we make these bushings. These bushings will restrain the tools so they won't move back and forward. Note that these bushings have a lip over there. A bit hard to see, but they have a lip. So they're not touching. Actually, I can take a razor blade and I can slip it through. It's, as you can see, it's touching the shaft. Or you may not be able to see. So let's get on and make these. Right, so that's uh, <laughs> that's what I had in the junk drawer box. That's the material. These two were cut from this 9mm stock from a sensor somebody threw away and I just found it rolling on the floor. And these are offcuts from slugs and other projects. Right, so let's get to it. to drill and tap these holes. As you can see, this is not an accurate measurement. I'm eyeballing this. make the mount the back mount that will hold this tool I'm going to make it out of two parts why because that's scrap material I have from previous projects and I like to use my scrap material so let's get to it first things first I want to face it off Well, now we have a nice hole, but some of you guys are saying, wait, 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 you forgot something. That should have been in there, like so, and locked. True, but then I'd have a serious time holding this by this, you know, tiny shred of material. Most likely, it would just fly off. Uh, not sure, but I did want to test it the hard way. So, Mr. Wise Guy, how do you drill a centered hole? right through well I don't know if you can see that but there's a tiny speck of a spot here 
let me emphasize it. Now this should give us a nice contrast. So what are we going to do? How are we going to drill a six millimeter hole? fine to me looks good perfectly nice right that is done it's not a tight fit as I wanted it So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this part. I'm truly pleased uh, with how these <laughs> drillings have gone and tapping and so on. This is really, really nicely centered. So till next time, when we do the last part of this tool rest, I want to thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you soon. Wow, I need a weaker motor. <laughs> That's for sure, but it did a good job. I will be able to turn it now, and you can see it definitely ate a bit of that. So I'll try and continue. We'll see where I get to. And eventually I may actually have to turn it, make a small motor mount to hold to this. We'll see about that. My original design 
to power it using the Dremel, I think it just uh, went down the drain. It does cut wonderfully. It's razor sharp. It's eating nicely through the brass. I just need a different motor that's not that fast. And yet has higher torque. I may also have to change this. I don't know if you can see, but the, the small 3mm shaft is ruined. Uh, because this is not as stable as it should be. So, you know, as an initial design, it works. Um, worst case scenario, just shifting its shaft and maybe changing that from brass to stainless or steel, that will be easy. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. We'll just need to find a good motor. 